So a dependency injection is a programming technique that makes a class independent of its dependencies by decoupling the components. So you're making your code more modular and easier to maintain. Let's take an example. So we have this class. This is a Java concept or code. We have this class called user service and it it's um, it has a variable of type database connection and in its constructor it has already defined and initialized the variable to a mongodb connection so in this scenario you find that this class is coupled with mongodb logic alone so you find that it will be very hard for this may same class to connect with any other database, either if it's PostgreSQL, MySQL, or Firebase. So what dependency injection helps is, if you look at now our class, we have modified it a little bit. So our variable DB connection is now initialized with whatever is passed or injected to our class through the constructor. So it will be database connection, DB connection. So whatever it will be, uh, that's what will be initialized to this variable. So how will it look? So when you go outside and at the point where we are calling the user service or this class, what we'll be passing is the specific, if for example, you want to connect with the MongoDB connection, when we're calling the user uh, service class, we'll just inject that um, the MyDB connection that we have defined. If you want to define the MyDB connection with PostgreSQL, we define it outside and then we inject it to a user service. Same with MySQL, same with Firebase. So you find there's a decoupling of whatever of the class and what it depends on. So it's not fully dependent on one specific database. So now let's proceed to our project and, and talk about dependency injections or ex uh, show, showcase how to implement it in our project. So in that frog, we inject these dependencies on the middleware using provider, which is a type of middleware as well, uh, that's pre-built inside that can provide an instance of type T. An instance of type T means it's a generic type. It could be a string, it could be a class, or anything that's actually provided to the request context and the provided value will be accessed by the root handler. If you remember the root handler, is, we found it in our index.dat. So now let's show this with an example. So we'll head over to our middleware and we'll come here and use the use method. Then we'll proceed to call our provider And pass a type string. If I have a class, I'll act, I can actually pass that class over here, and we'll get to do that along the within the course. So now that we have that, we want to pass it to the request context. To do that, we just call the context and then pass the string itself that you want to give to the request context so we'll say something like that rock tutorial 2023 great so that's how to inject and then we can head over to a root handler and inside here we define a variable of value is equals to context dot read string because it's of type string And then we'll proceed to replace this string with the variable value. So we should see at the end 2023. So let's try and run this. So we'll just call cal and call the default index, the one that's in the root directory. And when we enter, we get to see, um, let me show you. Um, if So we're going to pass this um, call request a uh, localhost 880 so it will be calling the index dot dot that's in the root directory and when we enter it will print out the string that we have injected 
that frog tutorial 2023 so that's how we handle dependency injections we'll get to see more of this as we continue to uh, add logic to our code simply and with that let's proceed to now other new concepts we have really these were the three main concepts that defined that frog but now we're going to more advanced concepts that will integrate in our dat frog application see you then